Welcome back. One of my favorite Power Pivot features is the ability to import data from virtually anywhere without assuming any technical knowledge. In this exercise, we'll start the process for implementing a Power Pivot model for analyzing the AdventureWorks sales data. We'll start with a blank Microsoft Excel workbook that doesn't have any data. Let's go ahead and save this file somewhere on your hard drive, such as in your Documents folder, and name the file AdventureWorks. Then let's click on the Power Pivot Ribbon tab, and then on the Power Pivot window. Again, the Power Pivot window represents the Power Pivot modeling environment. This is where you would import data, where you will define relationships, and where you refine your data model. As a first step for implementing the AdventureWorks uh, model, we'll import some data from the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse database. This is a SQL Server database. This is why we will go to the, uh, we'll expand the from database dropdown and we'll select from SQL Server. This starts the table import wizard, which walks you through a few steps to import your data. Let's name our connection Adventure Works DW. In the server name, specify the server where the SQL Server database is installed. In my case, the database is installed on my local machine, whose name is Elite, and it's installed on a named instance called R2. You have to verify with your DBA to understand to understand where the database is located and how to connect to it. As far as authenticating to the database, you have a couple of options. You can use Windows Authentication where you authenticate against the SQL Server using your Windows login. Or the DBA might have given you username and password credentials that have access rights to the AdventureWorks database. In my case, I'm going to choose the use, use Windows Authentication option. Then I'm going to expand the database name dropdown and select the AdventureWorks DW2008 R2 database. Let's click Test Connection to make sure that we have connectivity. Now let's continue to the next step. This is where um, I can tell the tab table import wizard how I will import the data. If I want to import entire tables or SQL views, then I can leave the first option preselected. Alternatively, I can write a custom SQL query to import the data. In this case, I want to import two tables, so I'm going to leave the first option selected and uh, click Next. In the Select Tables in View step, you will see all the tables in SQL views that you have access to in the uh, relational database. If the database have something called referential integrity, or table joins defined, you can select a table and you can click select related tables if you want to import all the tables that are related to the uh, first table that you selected. In my case, what I want to do is to import fact reseller sales table and the dim date table. The fact reseller sales table in AdventureWorks data warehouse captures the reseller sales data, the wholesale data. The dim date table represents a date dimension. It includes uh, date columns such as month, quarter, calendar year, and so forth. As a best practice, when you import data in Power Pivot, it's very important to import only the data that you need. Don't import columns that you don't need for analysis, because the smaller your model is, the more efficient it's going to be. Power Pivot, the table import with a, a wizard of Power Pivot, allows you to filter data during the import process. For example, with the factory seller sales table selected, click on Preview and Filter button. This uh, dialog gives you a preview of the data that you're going to import. 
but more importantly it allows you to exclude columns that you don't want to import in the model for example going through the list of the uh, columns in the factory seller sales table we see a column called revision number this column probably is not that useful for analysis we can uncheck its checkbox to exclude it from importing it into our model we can only filter data horizontally for example suppose that you want to import only data for year 2008 and above since typically in the data warehouse uh, in the data warehouse database the date columns are integer columns in the year month and date format we can go and select our date column and then we can specify number filters for example I can go and specify greater than or equal to filter and then I can specify let's say if I want to import only data uh, for year 2008 or above then my filter condition will probably look something like this in my case I don't want to specify I don't want to exclude any rows I would like to import all rows from that table so I'm gonna click OK when I go back to the table import wizard I see that in the filter details column there is a applied filters link when I click to it it tells me what filter conditions I have specified in this case it tells me that uh, it, it shows me all the columns that will be imported let's now go to the date table and click the preview and filter button if a table has a date column and if you want to exclude rows from that table you will see additional options for example you will see relative dates so for example you can import only dates for yesterday for previous month for last month last quarter and so forth I will not specify again any filters that exclude rows because I want to import all rows from this table but one thing that I would like to exclude is any uh, Spanish and French columns that are translated in Spanish and French because I will not use these columns for data uh, analysis this looks good let's click the OK button and again you have an applied filters link that tells you what columns are going to be imported from the date table let's now go and click finish to start the import process Power Pivot connects to the SQL Server database and imports the table sequentially one table at a time and you can see how many rows are imported from each table at the very end in the last row uh, you will see a data preparation when you click on the details you will see some additional information about the import process for example Power Pivot tells you that three relationships were detected in the underlying database because the DIM table is joined three times to the factory seller sales table via the ship date key, due date key and order date key columns now that's because again in the AdventureWorks data warehouse the database has set up something called referential integrity if there are no referential integrity joins in your SQL Server database Power Pivot will be unable to detect such relationships and it will not import uh, these joins click the close button and now you will see in the Power Pivot window that we have two tables that we've just imported from the AdventureWorks uh, data warehouse